think you already did. I'll... Uh, let me whisper it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that too. Oh no, honey, I don't do that sort of thing. No, it ain't about the price. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. How's it even possible, seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got our socket to thank. You know? I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder. Well, as long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, you won't even know whose is whose. Listen. Don't laugh, uh, but... Been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no. The images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that or it's reached the cortex. <sighs> Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. I finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. 
Hold on to him just in case. You need him more than me. I'm not taking him all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look.
Saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. The what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher power's talking to me through tarot cards. Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand, from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. What are you... checking them out? Nah, Chuma mind needs to work here, that's all. Oh yeah? Where do you got those kind of chimps? I'm from my
Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? So even keeps her around. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. You're done with that one. Yep. Back to the bump and grind. Telling every joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo-hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. You do this for fun? Talking around in circles? 
I'm trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Better if I didn't. I guess no means no. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? He did exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. I'm guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? Nah, I'm just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot. Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. She cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight.
lies beside you! Than usual. So, you broke even? Yes. The goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The stands Tiger Claw's property. What the hell? Your Tiger Claw's property. You have to think. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gone. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> Nothing I can do if you don't tell me. You're screwing with my head. There's that town. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere. That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. Don't make they must trouble. control the building. Be trouble. But there's smoke. This fire is... Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead dude drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Treatment has been listed at seven hundred thousand euro dollars per month for the second consecutive week. The landfill. Oh, hold on. You take a blow up doll, remodel the hole, and uh, that's cheap. That's infidel. Uh, no. Well, how's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Cause the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa. Uh, makes perfect sense that. By Raven Microcybernetics has been lauded for several of her works over the years. Her first novel, Requiem.
Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a Don't dick, worry. Johnny. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay.
Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent? Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. I don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Come to terms? Sure. Let me just curl up here on the floor and wait for whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? It wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. People I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change, that thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... A connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear... Is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? Is you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you. Now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you got a kill, Kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. 
Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. The customer attacked her. I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since, um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Huh. What's this? Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? 
Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. better real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. You just gotta be programmed. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first. Huh. Second floor is for VIP customers only.
what were you doing? I know it. Stands to fuck me up the quickest. You really think they remember nothing, are they? Well, that's the whole point. More like a hard life. Not a smidge. So why, every time, do they restart the composition? You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah, uh, You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
Tiger Claw's moonlight is peeping Tom's. You always got eyes in their dolls. Know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Something spooky. Right there, see that? Two way in, they hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. Left a purse. Could have had more than one. All the shits in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. No clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth, too. Same heart shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Don't have time for your games. Need to know where Evelyn is. We're running a skin circus here, in case you haven't noticed. Not a missing persons bureau. Let me guess. You played with the doll once or twice, and now you want to run off into the sunset. Go down to reception, they'll find your soulmate 2.0 in even fewer seconds than that. They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump? Somehow, I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? What situation? 
Think I'll give a cat's turd about every limp dick who walks through here? Listen, you fucking stump. You're a real piece of work with your feet up on that desk, you know that? Think you're the first asshole who's tried to blow me off. Why don't you just blow me? How's that? I could also pop your head like a balloon with my bare hands. Now you want to feel me try and prove that I can. Ah, uh, pissing myself already. <laughs> Well, aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Too bad you can't talk to dead people. Oh, wait. You're doing it now. Anyway, just scour his comp. That's just my work. Sold her off to a Ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A Ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream.
to return your weapon. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. 